mission continues to ensure that all students feel embraced and welcome while incorporating history that should never be forgotten. That's the kind of inclusivity a group of high school students in Aurora is dedicated to creating through activism and social work with the DuPage County chapter of the NAACP. Terrell Brown met up with them for a conversation about race and their hopes for the future. Through your eyes, what are some of the issues you see today? I think it's, it's difficult to learn, especially like history classes, when you don't see yourself in the classes. We also don't see very much inclusion of black people in the, in the curriculum. And when it is shown, it's really only about the slave trade. And there's no real positives you can take out of in the curriculum. Through the course of the day, how often do you guys think about your race. So I think about like who I am and where I come from and I'm pretty proud of it. For me race is like an everyday thing like it's my identity it's like who I am and it's something that I'm really proud of just like what Melissa said. Based on everything that has happened over the past year do you look at race any differently now? I like hate to like always jump on the race but that's you know it's there it's always like kind of like the elephant in the room and I have to think like is this because of race? Yeah I mean I can definitely agree I don't think I see race differently I think people just see me differently now because before it was like oh I guess she's Mexican but now they're like got to be careful with what I say around her. I want to teach people that like you can be friends with Hispanic people and people of color without being offensive. Do you think race will always be an issue? I learned that for a lot of people, it's not that they don't want to learn about other people, it's that they don't know how to. Mm -hmm. And so the issue is that all this time before, there's such a huge stig stigma on the word race because throughout history, it's been a touchy topic because of minority groups being between oppression and just violence and everything that's gone on throughout history and even now because a lot of systems are still in place to disadvantage minorities. I think more people need, are trying to learn how to change these systems because they didn't know they were there. So leaving it to you guys, how do we fix this? With us living in the melting pot, like what you're saying, like it really comes down to tolerance. Like, you know, not not seeing color, you know, see the color, embrace it and just learn to say like, hey, I know you're different. Maybe I don't know exactly what your culture is, but like I'm willing to learn. I mean, it's mainly just about like spreading awareness about like what you're trying to show. And I mean, like personally, I have faced some like sort of like racial injustice, mainly because there was no awareness to what you know about like me and my race and my religion and so I feel like just like you said incorporating it into the curriculum like teaching kids like okay like these are like the different types of people in the world but we're all unique we're all equal those students educated themselves on Juneteenth and they have some real thoughts on how to keep the Juneteenth spirit alive for years to come we'll hear more of their conversation with Terrell Coming the up. young changemakers you met earlier believe the spirit of Juneteenth should be a celebration of black businesses, culture, and history. But as they shared with Terrell Brown, it's a holiday they really didn't know much about until recently. So Juneteenth, how did you guys learn about it? Blackish. I saw the like special episode about it. Like I knew like this was a holiday, but I didn't like like tune in on it and say okay this is exactly what it is until I saw that. I had just heard about it like on the news and so I didn't really understand what it was until I actually just started like digging into it. Like when I was little I had heard of it in different spurts but nobody ever really went into it and so last year it became um, more widely known and so I did my own research on it. Isn't it kind of crazy how none of us said we learned about it in school? Oh that's so true. <laughs> I, that, that was just like rolling in the back of my head. Like you learned it from a TV show, you learned it from the news, you did your own research. I don't know, it, it sits wrong with me that like we have to learn about our history outside. Like ours is like the extracurricular, like you can take it if you want to. As we celebrate Juneteenth in the future, what do you guys think that looks like? I mean, I don't really know what to do to celebrate it. That's kind yeah. of like the, the weird part. I think it'd be like one giant potluck like where people bring like their own food and like speak about like what's going on and just like embracing the differences. I feel like a lot of people are kind of like, like tired of hearing about slavery. Like they'll say, like they have the mindset like, I already know slavery happened, you know, transatlantic slave trade, Africans here, you know, it's a thing of the past. But in reality, it still has ramifications to, to, to today. Like generational wealth, African-Americans families haven't been able to pass this down to their children. So I see like 
Juneteenth should be educating the impacts of it. So like, you know, supporting small businesses, supporting African-Americans in the now, and really kind of like reversing this effect so we can, everyone can be on the same playing ground. For some reason, I don't know why, all I keep seeing is like a parade. <laughs> like, like the Macy's Day, like yeah, Thanksgiving parade. Yeah, all I keep seeing. Why not? Yeah, all I keep seeing is just like a parade in like the streets, just like celebrated like heritage and you know, just like families like coming together, just like seeing like you know who they were then and who they are now. I think that the general observation of Juneteenth should probably be supporting black businesses, supporting black people, and just like the day should be supporting everything black. Well, people are making the effort. It's just continuing on. It's not like a trend that just ends once, you know, the internet stops talking about it and having everyone just come out and support and making sure people know about these events that are going on in their community where they can, you know, show support. There are many ways to 